Okay, friends, we lucked out. We had two mild days back to back, so I was able to clean out the garden and get some of my shallots and onions planted and some garlic, which I was excited about. But you can see that everything is pretty much complete. We had another frost again early this week. It's the week before Thanksgiving. Yesterday, the last of the sweet potatoes were taken out that had been moved into the garage. So that they were, oh good, they didn't freeze. They're still hard. So I'll have to do something with those today. But unfortunately, everything went to kaput, which wasn't put into the garage. And it's always a sad time to see when everything starts to die and it gets darker earlier and can be depressing. But you know what? I've led this breathwork retreat this past weekend and the theme was illuminate, right? So bringing the light to shine onto the darkness. Because in our society, we want to limit the darkness. We want to limit all that's bad, right? All that's evil. But what if rather than trying to limit it, we could be open to exploring the wisdom that was there. See the calendula? It's still shiny, it's light. Even though it's gotten colder and darker, and it's still shiny, it's light. And so that's my invitation for you today, is when you feel yourself going over to the dark side, and it feels really uncertain and it's scary because rather than judging it, could you become curious and to see what the benefit could be in that dark side? What wisdom could it hold, right? And so especially on the winter solstice, which is coming up, not too soon, but Again, it'll be here before we know it. How, oh look, see the strawberries, they're shining their light. They still have flowers. How could you reframe something? And I'm not talking about something, you know, life or death, like, but normal daily occurrences, daily stressful events. How could you reframe it to seeing the positive? from that darkness, from that that bad, from that evil, if you want to say, right? Like, how could we reframe it? So that's what I've been working on for myself because I practice what I preach as much as I can. But again, I'm human, so I only can do so much because my human comes out. But what did, would it feel like in your body? My honey wart's still alive. If you could be open to trying something new. If you could be open to doing something different. If you could be open to the wisdom that isn't necessarily obvious to you. What would that look like? What would it feel like in the body? How would it manifest in your life? What would it change? What could it allow to happen, to occur? That's what I wonder if you can do that as a practice. Right? Again, it's not that you're going to do it every single time. It's a practice, and that's why it's called a practice. Because we are trying something new. Trying it on, it feels strange, it feels uncertain, it might not feel comfortable. But the more that you do it, it may in fact show you the value it may begin to feel different in your body it may begin to indicate a lightness in the dark finding the good in the bad let me know how it goes in the comments below see you next time